Before the Bugatti Veyron, there was this, the 241 mile an hour McLaren F1. Despite its similar top speed, the McLaren F1 is the very opposite of the Veyron. No turbochargers, no four-wheel drive, no traction control, no ABS, and no flappy paddle electronically controlled gearbox. In spirit, the McLaren is closer to a Caterham than a Bugatti, a Caterham with a gold-plated engine compartment. It was built without compromise, and nothing was to get in the way of the driving experience. That's why the driver sits in the middle, so they feel completely in control. McLaren was so determined to use this layout, they even had the law changed to make it possible. Then there's the 627 brake horsepower, 6.1 litre V12 engine, built specially for this car by a crack team of BMW motorsport engineers, and the bespoke gearbox and a body made of carbon fibre. We take that for granted in supercars now, but back in the early 90s, it was so extraordinary they might as well have made it from lumps of Jupiter. Personally, I've never cared that much for the F1. It was too twitchy. But without it, Bugatti wouldn't have had something to aim for, and we wouldn't have had the incredible Veyron. In that respect, we owe McLaren our thanks. Extensive wind tunnel testing played a large role in the F1's staggering top speed of 243 miles per hour. This production car record would not be broken for another 12 years. When building a car for speed, every ounce matters. From the titanium onboard toolkit to the custom lightweight CD player, even the accessories play a part in keeping the weight down. In true supercar style, the F1's doors are designed to turn heads. They flip open and upward, earning them the term butterfly doors. The F1's driver-oriented central seating arrangement is unprecedented for production cars, placing the driver right in the center of the car, ideal for control, feedback and visibility on the racetrack. The rear-wheel drive McLaren F1 features a six-speed manual transmission. drive the 6.1 liter v12 engine produces 627 horsepower this helps the car reach 0 to 60 in 3.4 seconds and achieve a top speed of over 240 miles per hour. The gold-lined engine bay isn't just for show. With a high-performance BMW V12 behind the cockpit, the shielding helps protect the carbon fiber body panels by keeping temperatures down. Supercars aren't known for their ample storage. To make the most of the limited room available, each F1 comes with a unique set of fitted luggage, ensuring no space goes to waste. <laughs> 